In less than 24 hours, Wayne Braddy and Carl Willis could be free men. The pair was featured in WTOL 11's Guilty Without Proof back in 2019. They were convicted of killing 13-year-old Maurice Purify in 1998. Our investigation, however, found no evidence linking the men to the killing. And that story resulted in the state's main witness coming forward to tell us that he lied about the men at trial. That investigation has now led to another date in court, a date that is likely to end in their freedom. Lead investigator Brian Duggar joins us in studio to tell us what to expect tomorrow. So, Brian, walk us through what we expect to happen. Yeah, Brady and Willis have now been brought to the Lucas County Jail. They are processed in about 3 p.m. this afternoon. Now, tomorrow afternoon at 1, they will appear before Judge Gary Cook. They will take an Alford plea to lesser charges. Judge Cook is expected to then sentence them to time served, and they will be taken back to the jail where they will be processed out of the system. At some point tomorrow afternoon, or maybe even Wednesday morning, they will be released to their family and friends, and they will then start their lives over. Brian, many people will question why they would plead to anything if they are truly innocent, and they might also question why we are paying so much attention to men who are pleading to being involved in a child's death. So how do you respond to that? Yeah, Wayne and Carl are taking an Alford plea, which means they are not admitting guilt. In fact, they still think that, or they're still telling people that they're completely innocent. But it, what they are saying is that the state has enough evidence to convict them. And that's actually debatable because there's no evidence or witnesses against them at this point. But if they continue to fight for their innocence, it could take several more years to get a new trial. And they may not even win on appeal and could be stuck in prison the rest of their lives. Now, this plea allows them to be freed immediately. And it's not my job to say if they're innocent or guilty, but I can tell you this. I'm now going on four years investigating and following this case. And I have yet to find any evidence that they killed Maurice Purify. Well, Brian, I'll tell you what, it has been a long, arduous reporting process and obviously an ordeal for these two men as well. At the end of the day, uh, this could, uh, it, it, I guess, has it set in yet for you tomorrow that this could get all wrapped up? Yeah, it really has been a big part of my career here at WTUL. I mean, it was, it was just about the first big investigation that I did back in August of 2019. And, you know, at this point, we're taking it full circle. And one of the things I wanted to accomplish here at WTUL was actually to see this case through to the very end. So it's going to be emotional for them and the family, certainly. But you know, it's been a long journey for me also. Absolutely. And of course, we will have complete coverage of the proceedings. Should they happen tomorrow? Should they happen the next day? You can find it on air and online. Brian, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you.